James Earl Jones, iconic actor and memorable voice of Darth Vader and Mufasa. Dead at 93 you can't think of James Earl Jones without hearing his voice. That booming basso profundo, conveying instant dignity or menace, was Jones' signature instrument. It brought power to all his stage and movie roles. Vader in Star Wars, Mufasa in The Lion King and as the voice of CNN. That remarkable voice is just one of many things the world will miss about the beloved actor, who died Monday, according to his agent. He was 93. Jones was surrounded by his family when he died, his representative said. No cause of death was shared. From the gentle wisdom of Mufasa to the menacing threat of Darth Vader, James Earl Jones gave voice to some of the greatest characters in cinema history. Said Bob Iger, chief executive officer of the Walt Disney Company, in a statement. A celebrated stage actor with nearly 200 film and television credits to his name, the stories he brought to life with a uniquely commanding presence and a true richness of spirit have left an indelible mark on generations of audiences. Jones had a distinguished career that spanned some 60 years and took him from a small-town theater in northern Michigan to the highest reaches of Hollywood. Voicing Darth Vader In the mid-1970s Star Wars Creator George Lucas cast towering British actor David Prowse as the guy inside Darth Vader's black suit, but decided he wanted someone else to voice the character. George thought he wanted a, pardon the expression, darker voice. Jones once told the American Film Institute, I lucked out. Back then nobody imagined Star Wars would become a blockbuster, let alone an enduring franchise and cultural phenomenon. Jones recorded all his lines in a few hours and was not listed in the film's credits. He said he was paid just $7,000 for the movie, and I thought that was good money. The actor and Lucas had disagreements about how he should voice the villainous Vader. Oriented. Jones said. He, Lucas, said, no, no, you've got to keep his voice on a very narrow band of inflection, cause he ain't human. Darth Vader's climactic duel with Luke Skywalker, played by Mark Hamill, in 1980s. The Empire Strikes Back became a dramatic high point in the Star Wars series, punctuated by Jones' delivery of one of the most famous lines in movie history. No, I am your father. Hamill issued a statement on Monday writing on Instagram. One of the world's finest actors whose contributions to Star Wars were immeasurable. He'll be greatly missed. Hashtag RIP Dad. Jones said that almost two decades later, when he was voicing the dignified Mufasa for Disney's animated The Lion King, it took him a while to strike the right tone. My first mistake was to try and make him regal, Jones said of the 1994 film. And what they really needed was something more like me. They said, what are you like as a father? And I said, well, I'm really a dopey dad. He continued, and so they began to impose my facial expressions onto Mufasa, and a different tone of voice. Yeah, he was authoritative, but he was just a gentle dad. A prolific career. Jones was born in 1931 in Mississippi. His father, Robert Earl Jones, left the family before James was born to become an actor in New York and Hollywood, working with playwright Langston Hughes and eventually earning supporting roles in hit movies including The Sting. Jones' family moved from Mississippi to Michigan when he was five, a traumatic upheaval that caused him to develop a stutter. His fear of speaking rendered him almost mute until he got to high school where a poetry teacher helped him overcome his disability by encouraging him to read his poems aloud. He began to challenge me, to nudge me towards speaking again, toward acknowledging and appreciating the beauty of words. Jones said that he made his film debut in 1964 as a bombardier in Stanley Kubrick's Dr. Strangelove. In 1967, Jones was cast as troubled boxer Jack Johnson in a theatrical production of The Great White Hope a career-changing role that won him a Tony. He reprised the role three years later in the film adaptation, becoming only the second African-American man, after Sidney Poitier, to be nominated for an Academy Award. By the mid-1970s Jones was working steadily in movies and TV, a prolific run that never slowed. Over the next five decades he appeared in many memorable roles, as Alex Haley in TV's Roots, The Next Generations, Warlord Thulsa Doom in 
Conan the Barbarian. An African king in Coming to America. Kevin Costner's reluctant recruit in Field of Dreams. Admiral Greer in The Hunt for Red October and Patriot Games. And a South African preacher in Cry, the Beloved Country. On Monday, Costner recalled Jones' booming voice, quiet strength, and the kindness that he radiated. In a statement on Instagram, so much can be said about his legacy, so I'll just say how thankful I am that part of it includes Field of Dreams. If you've seen it, you know that this movie wouldn't be the same with anyone else in his role. He wrote, only he could bring that kind of magic to a movie about baseball and a cornfield in Iowa. I'm grateful to have been a witness to him making that magic happen. Jones continued to work into his later years. In 2021, Jones reprised his role as King Jaffe Jaffrin, Coming to America, the long-awaited sequel to the 1988 classic. His final credit, according to IMDb, was voicing Darth Vader in the 2022 Disney Plus miniseries, Obi-Wan Kenobi, The Power of Speech. In 2019, he again voiced Mufasa in Disney's remake of The Lion King, becoming the only cast member to reprise his role from the first film. Over the years, he also guest starred in dozens of TV series from L.A. Law to Sesame Street, appeared regularly on the stage and lent his deep, rumbling voice to everything from The Simpsons to a popular audio recording of the King James Version of the Bible. Jones said people in public sometimes didn't recognize him until they heard his voice. When you don't talk it's like going ninja. He told Rachel Ray in 2016. You get in the taxi and say where you're going and the guy turns around and says, Hey, aren't you that Darth Vader guy? He also lent his voice to CNN's tagline. This is CNN. Complete with a dramatic pause after. This. A CNN spokesperson said in a statement on Monday that Jones was the voice of CNN and our brand for many decades, uniquely conveying through speech instant authority, grace, and decorum. That remarkable voice is just one of many things the world will miss about James. The statement added, Over his long and prolific career Jones won three Tonys, two Emmys, a Grammy, a Golden Globe and numerous other awards. It wasn't acting. It was language. It was speech. He said when asked what aroused his passion for acting, it was the thing that I'd denied myself all those years as a boy. I now had a great, an abnormal, appreciation for it. And it was the idea that you can do a play, like a Shakespeare play, or any well-written play, Arthur Miller, whatever, and say things you could never imagine saying, never imagine thinking in your own life. He told the Academy of Achievement in 1996. You could say these things. That's what it's still about, whether it's the movies or TV or what. That what it's still about.